Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 20 May 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor online Madeleine Arnaldi writes that the Mandela Mining Precinct's test site will provide a platform to trial innovations under real mining conditions. The Mandela Mining Precinct's test mine is poised to deliver value to mining companies, original equipment manufacturers and other stakeholders while contributing to the industry's sustainability. The engineering news features focus on valves, where a supplier highlights the importance of technical knowledge when buying valves. Fire prevention and protection, where the need for a fire-related event is finally realized. And heating, ventilation, air conditioning and refrigeration, where a new containerized bulk air cooling solution is ideal for African mines. The Mining Weekly features focus on Zambian mining and industry, where Zambia's amethysts and emeralds are still tops, but mining could be better. And Junior Mining, where Southern Africa is deemed highly prospective for diamonds. This week's business leader is Garnet Basson, COO of hybrid hotel group The Capital Hotels and Apartments. And as this week's cartoon shows, ESCOM has given its assurance that it will do what it can to limit rotational power cuts during the winter months, there are signs, however, that this winter could be both cold and dark. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Creamer Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly, the magazine that offers you news about developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.